Hey guys, Brad here from Liquid Concepts. So again, we're uh, doing another weekly tip and trick video. And uh, so on this video, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about um, Yeti coolers, not even just Yeti coolers, but really just any cooler in general. So um, a lot of people want a custom product. And so if they're using their coolers all the time, another thing that you can do is, is offer them to do a custom uh, cooler like what we have right here with this Yeti cooler. So a um, couple of things we just wanted to point out here, you know, this has actually had three different kinds of coatings put on it, all right? And so we're gonna kinda go over a couple of those and just kinda show you what all you can actually do with a cooler, whether it be with candies, whether it be with dipping, or even just some vinyl decals. And you don't have to go as extravagant as what we've done right here, but you can do something that's really cool and really make your customer happy and also give them something that's going to last a long time. So um, if you wanna come over here, you can kinda look and see what we've got. So what we've got right here is we've got our, our original cooler. Now the cooler has been dipped four different times, all right? And so what we've got is we've got one dip that's sitting right down here. We've got another dip that's on this side, another one on this side, and another one on the front. And so of course we've got our lines coming up right here, our lines coming up right there. So that way everything is all dipped individually. So there's no stretch, but we do have one line on each corner all the way around. So the other one is, is we've got our lid up here and it's been dipped. Now of course on this one, we dipped it one time, we're good to go. So if you want a customer, or if your customer comes in, they just want say a camouflage cooler, then you can just dip it, you're good to go. Also, we're gonna be making another video here shortly on just the coolers themselves, on how to actually prep them, how to dip them, and pretty much from start to finish. And you can check out those uh, whenever we start doing a lot of that on, um, <coughs> excuse me, on our, um, uh, our video section of the website whenever we start posting a lot of that stuff. And uh, also, we'll put the link below in it whenever we get that live. And so, just to kind of go go over a couple of these things. So what we've done is we, we had the customer, they said they want a diamond plate, and so we dipped it. So that was great. But then they're like, hey, we want a Pittsburgh Steelers logo on it. So we're like, okay. And so they showed us a picture of one. And so what we done was we actually gave it a little bit more custom, unique touch. Now we could have done a lot of these symbols here in just um, just a yellow and a red and a blue. And that could have been a vinyl sticker and we could have stuck it on there and sure, that would have been fine. But what we did was we actually sprayed these all in separate candy colors. And so one thing that's unique about a candy is that it allows the base color or whatever's underneath it to come through, to show through. So what's neat about this is, is you can actually still see all of this actual dip underneath all of these colors. So it makes it a little bit more unique, all right? And so same thing with, um, on all of these sides here, you can see we've got all the different candies that we've sprayed. So again, something pretty unique, something really, uh, really different just to set it apart from just a regular vinyl that's just stuck on there. Now, could you do that? Sure, but we went ahead, we went the extra mile, we did that. So another thing that we did was, is the customer wanted Steelers on the front of it. And so we'll spin this around here and kind of show you guys this here. And so what we did was we did a smaller logo right here, but we put Steelers right across it really big. Now again, I could have done this in a paint, but we went ahead and we just printed this and we did this in just a vinyl decal. So again, you could have done it either way. And so they also wanted a big helmet, a Pittsburgh Steelers helmet, on the top of the Yeti. And so what we did was we just took and we printed out, again, a logo that was a Pittsburgh Steelers helmet and then stuck it down on top of the actual, the dipped portion of the lid. And so now what we've done is we've created um, a, a fully one-off, unique, custom, cooler and so you've got uh, areas of all different kinds of coatings on this that, that make it more unique because you've got 
your, your vinyl inlays, like right in here. You've also got your candy colors, which is more around in here. And then you've also got your dip, which gives the overall appearance of the diamond plate material. And so whenever it's done right, and you've got that high gloss clear, or maybe even a flat clear, maybe that's what they wanted, um, it, gives your, it gives your customers a more unique view, and, and you're able to do a lot more things to make the customer happy and also to make your product a better looking product. And so um, mainly for the tip and the trick uh, for this week, what we kind of wanted to do was to just kind of show what all you can really do just by incorporating all three or four or even five different custom coatings. So like I said, we've got our dip on here, we've got our candy colors, we've got the vinyl uh, decals that are on here. And so all of that put together makes one completely unique custom look. So sometimes you gotta think outside the box a little bit. And so on this part, you know, the customer kind of gave us free reign and, and they just wanted certain areas, you know, of, of a look, but they just said, okay, here it is. And so we really enjoy that because we get to do a lot of more creative, more fun stuff. And so that's something to just kind of remember is that it doesn't always have to be dipped. Sometimes it may be better to just go ahead and print this logo out, stick it on there. It's a lot easier, you know, if the customer's happy with that. And so one thing that we've done is that a lot of customers won't do, or a lot of uh, companies, they won't do it. And, and we feel that it's a better option is that we will put the stickers on underneath the clear. So what that does is it, it does two different things. Number one, it's a lot more scratch resistant. And number two, actually there's a lot more than two, but um, number two is, is your, your decals aren't going to peel up because what's gonna happen is, is if you spray down your clear and you got two, maybe three good coats on it, what's gonna happen is, is you're going to create a bridge that goes from this sticker over onto the actual painted portion or dip portion of the product. And then it creates a barrier to help pretty much seal down that sticker to where it's not just going to grab an edge like that and then just peel it right off, all right? And so by doing that, it also makes it to where it's a lot more UV resistant. So it's going to uh, take the weather a lot better, it's not gonna fade, and so it's pretty much just you're laying your clear over everything and you're sealing, you're locking down that vinyl decal down into the coating itself. So it's gonna be a better coating overall. So. Those are kind of a couple of things that we like to do. Again, there's a hundred different ways that you can do this. Maybe the customer wanted this to where they could peel this off and maybe the Steelers aren't their best fan anymore. Maybe they want a Dallas Cowboy or something like that. So maybe go ahead and put the stickers on after the clear so they can just pull the stickers off, put them on whatever way they want. But in this case, we went ahead and did this. So then that way, because they knew that they were gonna want Steelers on it permanently. So we went ahead and clear coated it with the clear over the vinyl. So again, something that's really cool, something that's really unique that you can do that, that really helps out um, and, and makes something just pop a lot more, whether it be from vinyl stickers, from candy colors, or even just from the dip itself. So again, check us out on YouTube, Liquid Concepts, or you can also uh, check us out on Facebook. We have our Facebook group, uh, it's a Hydrographics 101, and also we, you can check us out on our actual Facebook page. Um, the page is the Liquid Concepts Distribution. So check us out there. We're always gonna have our weekly tips and tricks, and we hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely, if you have any questions, you can comment below or comment on the link, and then, um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. So if you got anything else, you got anything you'd like to see, want us to touch on, want us to go over, um, definitely let us know. We'd be more than happy to shoot a video for you. So we'll see you guys next time.